Okay, everyone. Part three. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, Sly47 here. Oh god, this is taking forever, but Legendary and Epic Commander's Guide Part 3. If you haven't seen Part 2, Link is of course in the cards right now. This is a new player or prospective buyer focused video, but many of you know that veterans, please once again let me know if I am missing any unique situations just to make sure we have that all information there. This is not a builds video, so please join up on Discord if you want more up-to-date builds for that great place and absolutely fun to be on, but let's get into it finally thanks to TAC and the CAC website for making this all possible and helping me get all the information that we need for this now let's start on Italian commanders first of that we have Luigi Sansonetti and I do want to make sure I say this correctly so high loading density gun propellant charge that is commonly known to the entire community as SAP plus so if I say SAP plus just know that is IFHE plus it's just basically everyone kind of says that because, of course, a lot of Italian ships do not have HE. So, basically, that's just how it's going. But Luigi Sansonetti with six cents, marksman plus, and artillery maintenance expert plus generally fits more around the Venezia side. And because of SAP plus, in my opinion, Venezia with Luigi tends to kind of almost turn into a bit of a pre-nerf Venezia and becomes actually fairly strong. I think a lot of people underwrite it on how good it is but it still needs help it still does but luigi Cincinnati is generally considered one of the best ones because of that six cents and sat plus combo along with just everything being good for what you want on a venezia so luigi's kind of all the always the best for venezia but at the same time all these skills work out for everything else you want you want to help make the colombo a little more accurate well artillery maintenance expert plus you want to you want to work on and go in the regolo Six Sense helps. So yeah, Luigi Cincinnati is one of the better commanders right there. Now we have Anglo Icino. He's kind of a weird one. <laughs> he is a bit of a weird one because he has a lot of skills that do help. Because you know, you've got Daredevil Plus, Fully Prepared Plus, Adrenaline Rush Plus, Compartment Maintenance Plus, which is kind of okay. And then Sap Plus and Horizontal Protection Expert Plus. A lot of these skills are higher level, so you're gonna have to work up on this commander. For me, I'd say any BB that you want to make a little bit tankier, especially with the Horizontal Protection Expert Plus and Fully Prepared Plus, gets those heals back really quick and everything. You Daredevil Plus, you technically could use it on Regolo, but there's somebody else I'd rather say you use on Regolo right there. But anything you want to have tanky and or Napoli. I think he's perfect for Napoli right here. Just makes it a little bit that much more tanky when you are going up against light cruisers. So you can just help them with those secondaries but then you also have just all these capabilities with adrenaline rush plus with secondary overload plus to absolutely murder and make sure you go out in style type of idea so you know he's there but more kind of a he helps some not there's no really any line for him now let's talk about one that has a strict line for them paulo paulo is pretty much going right straight to Rogolo. There is nothing else that pretty much he helps except for obviously like Paolo Emilio, any of the premium DDs, but pretty much any DD Paolo goes on. Could you put this on Venezia? Absolutely. You can. Miss Weaver Plus does actually help out just a little bit on that, but overall with all of his skills, especially Engine Overload Plus, Sat Plus, and Giant Hunter Plus, definitely more for Rogolo line situation there. Now we do have uh, Campioni. Campioni has Night Raid on him. And for Italian ships, there's no ship with with uh, that. But plus one smoke helps. Yeah, you, you don't really use it for the um, plus one torpedo reload. But yeah, he's there. <laughs> he's there. I think definitely more of Regolo or Venezia. Whichever one you want to help, you have an additional smoke. Technically, you could put it on Colombo to add that in there. But um, yeah, Night Raid's there. You can see there's really like two commanders I would highly suggest from this. If you were looking for a legendary commander for uh, Ital uh, uh, Italy, uh, or Italian ships, I should say, yeah, you pretty much go Paolo and Luigi. The, the other two are kind of, eh, eh, well, whatever. Let's go to the, the epic commanders for the Italians right here. We have Romano. Romano is pretty much for the uh, Regola line. If you don't have Paolo right here with engine overload plus and adrenaline rush plus, just absolutely able to help out those engine boosts get back quicker, which really does help you dodge a lot of shells because you're actually able to really punch that engine boost uh, or emergency engine boost and just get out of the situation wherever you're at. So that definitely helps out, but pretty much right there. And, you know, Adrenaline Rush Plus 
it helps at times. Next up, we have, I think it's Barbary, Barbary, Bar Loren Lorenzo. Let's just call it Lorenzo. That, that works. It works. Works perfectly fine. Swift as wind and sap plus. This is Jujard's ability, and I actually think it works out really well because of how short the re or the time is. Doubling it on the engine boost really helps out the Regolo. So if you want to do that, put it on there. If not, Yolo Emilio. Well, it's Paulo Emilio, but Yolo Emilio, that's the general name for it. So yeah, Lorenzo works generally on any Regolo, any DD and such, because of that engine boost uh, difference. Uh, you just get double the time, which does help, and you already have a short cooldown, so you don't really need Engine Accelerator Plus. But yeah, Swift as Wind does help on Sat Plus. Definitely helps, because of course, they don't have AP, so you don't use APCS on that one. Now let's quickly knock out the Pan-European Commanders, because there's only two of them, one Legendary, one Epic, Jersey Sworsky. Hollander Gradonstein, whichever you want to buff more, because both of them have Radar and Jersey Sporsky helps, because he does have nowhere to hide, which is super key and critical to making the Holland line absolutely fantastically comfortable, but also you can use it on the Gdansk line as well and make that line feel absolutely comfortable. Surprise, surprise, right? For me, I definitely say more Holland, but I can totally see why people would put it on Gdansk. Basically, if you have Jersey Sporsky, go down one of these lines. It's going to be a fantastic time. Overall, I put him on Holland because of another one, Son of the Land. This epic commander right here with Mist Reaper Plus and Battlefield Support Plus, to me, goes perfect on the Gdansk line. Just, you, you don't really need the radars that often in the Gdansk line just because you're chunking and destroying DDs entirely, or you sometimes just don't even need the radar. But the Mist Reaper Plus, able to just have longer times within your smoke and then getting those smokes back even faster, yeah, well, it's not the love. So to me, that's definitely going on the Gdansk line whenever I go down it. But yeah, Jersey Swarovski is right there for both of them. And both are great pickups if you can, as they help a lot of them. On a small minor note on Son of the Land, yes, he buffs other ships in there. Bliskavika, definitely. He helps out Bliskavika greatly. But uh, he also <clears throat> buffs the Friesland. If you're feeling a little dirty, you can use Son of the Land to make the Friesland that just more annoying. Do what you will with that information. <laughs> I hate that I have to say that, <laughs> but yes, it's Son of the Land will help the Friesland, and the Friesland doesn't need any help, but it's there. Now onto another short nation, Dutch. We got one legendary commander here with Mikael de Reuter. Hopefully I didn't slaughter that too much, but if even if I did, or aiming slaughter him for us, because his special skill, the Flying Dutchman, doesn't actually work right now. It's supposed to be able to speed up your airstrikes. It doesn't. Maybe in the future it will, but even then... I'd argue, yes, he could be used on the Golden Liu. Not really. He's actually more for DZP, Tromp, kind of faster airstrike ships that are meant to be getting out there and kind of doing more damage with their airstrikes, where Golden Liu, you really want to take APCS to make those guns really usable. So he's he's there if you have him, but even then his, his special skill, I'd argue APCS will probably net you more damage overall, but... Maybe in the future he'll get buffed and fixed and it won't be such a big problem. But yeah, with Dutch, he's there. He exists. Now let's quickly go through the Pan-Americans before we get to the load of Pan-Asian commanders that I get to slaughter their names horribly. But let's go over the Pan-American ones. First, we have Isabel, which is a close quarter combat expert plus and horizontal protection expert plus. This is your Atlantico, your Rio de Janeiro commander right there. Perfectly set up there, just hey, a little bit tankier and a little bit better on the close quarter combat. Yeah, she's there, absolutely. Now, on to Minko with fully prepared plus and extinguisher plus. This is basically granting the San Martin additional health faster, and then you're a little bit tankier against fires, especially when you're trying to hunt down maybe a small lens or Gdansk now and everything. So, he definitely will help out that line greatly. I'm hoping they eventually do some sort of legendary commander for the Pan American line. I would love some sort of Jersey Swarovski meets, meets Gorchov. I don't know. Something like that. Kind of a mixture of something for the San Martin line to buff them even greater. Because I think a legendary commander would really make the San Martin just full on straight meta and would absolutely love that. But I know that might be broken as well. Let's get on to the Pan Asian commanders because there's a lot of them and I can't wait to slaughter their names constantly let's get into it <laughs> first up to bat we have ding pretty much everything of his skill set with daredevil plus exploit weakness plus engine overload plus giant hunter plus preheating plus and in emergency response plus he kind of works on everything basically whatever ship you want to buff a little bit 
he helps. He just he just helps everything. I don't think there's really any specific area. Yes, you could say Yu Yang, but I think even then, I think there's actually some epic commanders or some other commanders that might actually work better for the Yu Yang overall. But yeah, Ding just kind of works for everything. So if you want a better, just better everything, he does that. Next up to bat, we have Shazen Bing. This is pretty much your gene online with the torpedo reload expert just helps it get back that much faster. Miss Weaver Plus gets their smoke back faster. IFHE Plus, you kind of take it. I don't know, you might want to, you might not want to and everything, but overall, Sha Bing is a great line for the Pan-Asian cruisers. So if you want to do that for me, I actually put it on the Sejong. I know a lot of people are going, why not on the Genon? I have a higher level ding on the Genon, so it's kind of one of those things of just like, eh, I don't want to rework this. I don't want to have to pay for it and everything like that. So yeah, I've got that. But yeah, basically any of the cruisers absolutely works. You technically, especially with the Mistweaver Plus and Exploit Weakness and IFHE Plus, you technically could use it on Yu Yang, but I still, once again, think there's better commanders on that. Now to the final legendary commander, we have Lubei with Underwater Protection Expert Plus, Torpedo Alert Plus, Artillery Maintenance Expert Plus, Survivalist Plus, Extinguisher Plus, and Horizontal Protection Expert Plus. I think this is basically for any of the clone battleships that the Pan-Asian lines have. I would say Sun Yat-Sen, but there's actually another epic commander that I would say that's better just because he has APCS Plus, but we'll get to that. So Lubei works on anything, generally anything you want to be more tanky, but the cruisers, you really don't want to be more tanky, and if you have Lubei, you're going to put it on one of the clone battleships, per se. I'm not going to try to slaughter their names as well, but you know, it's going to be on the premiums and such. Now we have Rabbit Spirit. This is Aerobatic Maneuver and Dogfight Specialist Plus. Shanzang and any future Pan-Asian CV clones that they do. This is, I think Rabbit Spirit generally gets sold with the Shanzang, so pretty much you're gonna have this if you have the Shanzang. So you just use it because Shanzang fighters are insane and basically you're, you're a tier eight Psy fan. So yeah, pretty much use Rabbit Spirit on that. Now we have Sun Sin. This is basically Shanzang Bing, but at home. This is budget. Like budget Genon, just put it on any Genon ship you want to help with. Night Raid helps out greatly with that entire line. But also, if you want to, you could put them as Yu Yang to get additional engine accelerator. You can do that, but with Exploit Weakness Plus and Night Raid, Sha Sin being at home. That's basically what Shun, uh, Sun Zen is. So, yeah, right right there for you. Next up, we have uh, Cow Cow. Uh, sorry if I'm slaughtering that. That's the English wording for it in Dynasty Warriors. So just, just deal with my horrible pronunciation and blame them. We have Survivalist Plus and APCS Plus. This is the Sun Yat-Sun commander that I was saying. Is I know Lu Bei is like, oh yeah, he's got more tankiness and everything like that. But Survivalist Plus, which gives you more health, and APCS Plus are really key and critical to making that Sun Yat-Sun just nominal and absolutely so if you have the sun yat -sun, get cow cow as a commander rank him up you'll enjoy the sun yat -sun in that now uh sun kwan exploit weakness plus and secondary overload plus basically this is for the agar clone yeah you're gonna use it on that if you have it i have a feeling probably comes out pretty often with that agar clone on there so yeah anything secondary focus that's pan asian put him on there he buffs it that's the, yeah, that's it. I know this is very simple. There's a lot of the times that these Pan Asian ships, there's a lot of just clones and they kind of just go for that one premium ship. They don't really work with any of the tech tree stuff. So it's kind of how it is. Eastern Dragon, we have Fire Supremacy Plus and Giant Hunter Plus. Well, of course, it goes on the Eastern Dragon. If you have the Eastern Dragon, I'm betting you have the Eastern Dragon Commander. So it goes on that. But anything you want Torpedo Reload on because of the Fire Supremacy Plus and Giant Hunter Plus. This is probably great for the Genon line overall as the Yu Yang line. It's kind of a mixture between the torpedoes and the guns. So I would definitely say the Genon line over that. And finally, we're, we're almost done, everyone. <laughs> we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm slowly losing my sanity here if you can't tell. But Southern Dragon, Battlefield Support Plus, and Engine Overload Plus. Well, it would be really for the Southern Dragon, but the Battlefield Support Plus actually really just help out the Yu Yang because you get an additional radar. So with the engine overload plus, yeah, I would actually, as much as like, oh yeah, Southern Dragon goes on Southern Dragon. No, Southern Dragon goes on Yu Yang. Let's just be honest about this. I think that's probably the best fit because of course, who doesn't want longer engine boost and an additional radar on Yu Yang? Doesn't hurt at all. And that is it. Thank God. That was, 
<laughs> that was a lot of legendary and epic commanders. Oh my god. Hopefully you found this information informative. Please, veterans down below, let me know if I missed any combos or unique situations where you'd want to use one commander over another commander. Would love to get this all down there for all new players and prospective buyers of all of these commanders to know and have this one per se video to help them figure everything out or i should say three videos to help them figure out but yes this is all hopefully you all enjoyed the series if you did hit the like button subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell to see whenever a new video or stream goes live special shout out and thank you to all those who support the channel especially the patreon youtube members and super chatters for helping support this channel and make all of this happen and getting ready for march now especially with st patty's day also looking in on that move that actually has been moved to mid-march so i'm having that situation and then once i finally move and after actually a few podcasts that are coming up i'm going to be going into a brand new series that should be a lot of fun for more people so i know some people were like hey you know these guides really don't matter to me Trust me, I've got content coming for you as well. I just really wanted to make sure that this information was out there for newer players. So hopefully you all have a wonderful day. Have a good one. See you all in the high seas. Peace.